Speaking in the final Republican debate in United States, presidential candidate and businessman Vivek Ramaswamy took a dig at former United Nations Ambassador Nikki Haley by calling her a fascist. The only person more fascist than the Biden regime now is Nikki Haley, Ramaswamy said. Far more dangerous than, I, this is really important for people to understand. We're marching towards fascism under Biden. Jack Smith has subpoenaed every last retweet that someone has issued from Donald Trump in the year 2020. The only person more fascist than the Biden regime now is Nikki Haley, who thinks the government should identify every one of those individuals with an ID. That is not freedom, that is fascism, and she should come nowhere near the levers of power, let alone the White House. I, I got in the fourth and final GOP debate that took place on Wednesday night, Ramaswamy stated that Haley thinks the government should identify every one of those individuals with an ID. The presidential candidate was referring to previous proposal by Haley suggesting that social media users needed to be verified by name. When I get into office, the first thing we have to do, social media accounts, Social media companies, they have to show America their algorithms. Let us see why they're pushing what they're pushing. The second thing is every person on social media should be verified by their name. That's, first of all, it's a national security threat. When you do that, all of a sudden people have to stand by what they say and it gets rid of the Russian bots, the Iranian bots and the Chinese bots. And then you're gonna get some civility when people know their name is next to what they say. Holding a Nikki is equal to corrupt placard, Ramaswamy also accused Haley of having a corruption problem. This resulted in some of the audiences cheering and booing all at once. She said that I have a woman problem. Nikki, I don't have a woman problem. You have a corruption problem. And I think that that's what people need to know. Nikki is corrupt. This is a woman who will send your kids to die so she can buy a bigger house. This is the problem. Using identity politics more effectively than Kamala Harris is a form of intellectual fraud. He called her a puppet and accused her of using identity politics as a form of intellectual fraud. However, Haley refused to respond to Ramaswamy, saying that it is not worth her time. Here tonight, this is how this game is played. The puppet masters put up their puppet, and I reject the use of identity politics in this party. It has been a cancer coming from the left, and I'm sick and tired of the double standards the people of this country are too. Having two X chromosomes does not immunize okay, you from thank criticism. You. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Governor Haley, would you like to respond? No. It's not worth my time to respond to him. You have been using identity politics at every step. The heated debate later switched to Ramaswamy versus former New Jersey Governor Chris Christie, who defended his rival Nikki Haley. Christie praised Haley as a smart, accomplished woman while attacking Ramaswamy and describing him as one of the most obnoxious and pompous person living in America. Retorting quickly, Ramaswamy mocked Christie, saying his version of foreign policy experience was closing a bridge from New Jersey to New York. He then asked Christie to get out of the race, urging him to walk himself off the stage. Well, Chris Christie also doesn't know what provinces in eastern Ukraine he actually wants us to fight for. Chris, your version of foreign policy experience was closing a bridge from New Jersey to New York. Yeah. So do everybody a favor, just walk yourself off that stage, enjoy a nice meal, yeah. and get the hell out of this yeah, race. Be tired. In the final debate, only four candidates took position on the stage. However, no one has yet emerged as the clear Republican alternative to former President Donald Trump. His lead is so significant that he has skipped all of the debates, including today, and held a fundraiser in Florida instead.